explain to you quite briefly uh, the processes to go from master culture to start the upscaling of microalgae. So we have a couple incubators here which allows us to control the temperature, the aeration and the shaking of the cultures. So if you come closer, so you'll see here we have a few master cultures, so they're quite low volume, so we have no stock here for example, tetracelmis as well. And in these tubes, the cultures are in a dormant form uh, and they just have enough nutrients to survive but not to grow uh, anymore and they're just ready to go for the upscaling, which is the next step in this next incubator. So these are really fresh new cultures of Chlorella vulgaris, Porphyridium purpureum and Senedesmus oblicus. Uh, these have been started yesterday. So as you can see, they're still in quite a low volume, but uh, just putting them in this fresh water with new medium allows them uh, to grow and then we can upscale the cultures to higher volumes for our experiments. Hello, uh, today I would like to show you our algal park of Swansea University. So we have several photobioreactors in our greenhouse because weather here is not really uh, warm so we need to keep it in a glass house. And um, several facilities were purchased uh, by project development. Some of them it was ERDF and some of them is interim. Okay, so welcome. We'll start with the oldest photobioreactors. Uh, we have them um, built by a company was called Varicon Aqua Solution. We have several kits from this company. It's 800 liters uh, system with artificial light and uh, now in the system you can see uh, two species one red and one green so this red one is Porphyridium purpureum and we grow in the species uh, for um, pigments and exopolysaccharides as well so pigments is phycoerythrin which is really good for medical research and in this food bioreactor we have another uh, marine species which is called tetracelmis and tetracelmis is really rich on omega oil and also we test in system with uh, this quite new species for us. So this big system uh, is a uh, photobioreactor which was built by our engineering team of Swansea University and this photobioreactor is designated for uh, waste remediation. We use uh, liquid waste and uh, and also gaseous waste for it, so flue gas. At the moment the system is empty, but we're preparing for a new trial to start very soon. Usually we grow chlorella or synodesmos. This is two uh, freshwater green algae, really good for bioremediation. A new system we have relatively um, recently in our um, facilities is called uh, FICOFLOW. This is the glass reactor and 1000 liter reactor where it grows uh, chlorella at the moment. They have uh, two parts, light part exposed to the artificial or natural light and also um, dark tank. Dark tank is needed for the finishing physiological reaction of algae uh, to close in the photo photosynthetic cycle. Uh, the movement of culture from the light part to the dark part take few minutes and this is usually enough for the physiological response of the culture in our the best condition. So all reactors uh, system like this we're using in our facilities. So this reactor has a control panel. And in this control panel, we can monitor uh, pump movement, pH, and also supply of uh, CO2 and temperature. Additionally to this, for the uh, abiotic condition, we measure light with uh, universal light meters because it's important for the uh, efficient uh, photosynthesis activities in culture. And another system, we're planning to try this spring and we'll start to grow uh, some freshwater algae like spirulina and some others in a system what is called phycopon. So this is basically a raceway with capacity of 1000 liters 
and um, we are um, planning to, to grow this uh, continuously uh, algae in this system uh, for quite a long time. Usually we will use this system for the application in industrial location uh, as uh, one of the projects we will start very soon. So when culture reach certain concentration and we need to start harvesting, microalgal culture is lots of water. And the first step for the downstream processing is need to, to be dewatering of, of the culture. For this purpose and uh, this setup, we use membrane filtration rig uh, with 0.2 micron size of uh, membrane. This membrane has a cartridge uh, placed in here and water going through it, uh, this culture, uh, separated from the uh, solid part and liquid part. We also use this machine uh, for the pretreatment of water, seawater and fresh water. And because we use natural seawater as well, so it's important to filter it before it goes to photobioreactor to avoid contamination and bacterial growth. And it's really successful. So, duct tank of one of the other reactors, I would like to show you what is inside. So in a duct tank we have part of the culture, usually it's uh, one third or half of the total volume. For example, here is about uh, 300 liters of culture. So you can see this is red uh, porphyridium purpureum. When there's no uh, light penetration, it looks really dark. But when in tubes we can see it, it's, it could be not, not that dark. But cultures need this dunk duck tank to finish their physiological reaction.